Hey everybody, I'm Trisha Swenson with Veil Daily Live and it is December and we are decking the halls with lights and more lights and Kris Kringle holiday markets and an ugly sweater. 5K, it's all coming up this week. We're gonna let you know more about it and about a big storm coming our way on VDO, which starts now. Hi, I'm Trisha Swenson. I'm Brazzo. I'm Ashley. I'm Ken Hovey. I'm Meredith Kirkman. I'm Ty Diaz. I'm Charlie Kennedy. We are VDL. We are VDL. We are VDL. Bail Baby Life. We are VDL. BDL. We are VDL. Yes, we are. Happy Wednesday. It is December 8th, and you're watching Vail Daily Live. I'm your host here in the studio, Ashley LaFleur. You saw Trisha Swenson out in Vail Village. We're going to be checking in with her shortly, but we've got a great store, a great show in store for you this morning. Really nice and clear and cold this morning. So we're going to, we, but we do have a really exciting weather forecast. Now we'll, we're going to have a look at some upcoming events that are headed your way, not only for this week, but into the weekend, into next week. Also, we're going to get healthy with some cauliflower toast. Also make a little visit down to Nap Harvest, which I was just looking at some of their online options for, you know, ordering some food that's prepared. Ooh looks so good. Also, your weather, your headlines, events, so much more. And as always, you are as much of this show as we are. So if you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube, please send us a little comment, say hello, let us know how your morning's going. If you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you and we'd love to have you be part of the show. So also, if you're not watching on Facebook or YouTube, you can always find us on Roku, on Amazon Fire, on Spotify, on Apple TV, and coming soon, we will also be live on Outside TV Channel 17. So we should probably send things right out to my girl, Trisha, and check in with her. Now, Trisha, this morning, you were letting me know that you had a little update about yesterday being Colorado Gives Day. Yes, you know, Colorado Gives Day, a big day throughout the whole state for raising money for nonprofits, but Eagle County takes it one step further. And last Tuesday, they brought a ton of nonprofits together. It's kind of the Eagle Gives, uh, a coalition of about 50 nonprofits that really try to work together to raise all boats in this fundraising effort. And I just heard this morning that they surpassed their goal of $1.75 million. In fact, they brought in over 4,100 donations to our local organizations, totaling $2 million. So I, I just, it's so neat what this Valley is able to do. It's such a giving valley. Uh, no matter what the circumstances are, people still want to give back. And actually, there's so many different nonprofits around here that resonate with people. You know, so just pick one. Hey, if you love horses, Mountain Valley Horse Rescue. If you love home security, hey, how about um, Habitat for Humanity? You know, so there's a lot of different ones that resonate with people. And uh, that new Gives magazine that the Vail Daily produced, that's a great source in case you're thinking, hey, I want to volunteer or, you know, that old adage, time, treasure, and talent. Maybe you have time to donate. Maybe you have a skill to donate. Or maybe you have some money to donate. So it's a good way to get involved. And um, I think once you volunteer and get involved in a community you really get immersed in the community and I know I know we have a lot of new people that have moved here especially during the pandemic and even if you're just moving here as a person straight out of college it's a good way to feel like you belong to a, a community even if you might be a little homesick homesick for a home so that's my advice this morning oh yeah I love it and actually hold on just a second I've got it right here Got it. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah. this is what you're talking about. This um, this really great publication from the Vail Daily. So if you are not sure about you know what the different nonprofits, I mean, look at it. it fills an entire little booklet. It's amazing. There's so many. Yeah. There's so many to choose from. But you're right. I think especially for all of our new people, if they if they want to feel like they're really uh, really part of the community, like they can really take some ownership in it. This is a great way to start. So that's awesome yeah. news. I'm so glad to hear it. Now, also, I can see your breath out there. It was a little chilly. I, it was 18 degrees in Eagle this morning when I was leaving frost yeah. on the windshield. Whole deal. Yes, it was 19 about when we drove in. And so, you know, I, I like it though. I, I'm ready. I'm ready for it to get really cold 
and really snowy and everything because it's December, you know, like we, <laughs> we need to get a change in the weather. Hey, but actually real quick, I wanted to tell you about something else that's going on tonight. Um, it's the Vail Valley Business Women's Annual Holiday Soiree. Speaking of charity, uh, they're doing a fundraiser tonight that provides scholarships for high school senior girls who are going into a business field. It, so um, that is gonna be going on this evening. It's just a $15 donation. They're gonna have a ton of silent auction items. And the Vail Valley Business Women's Group has actually been around for over 40 years. I don't think a lot of people realize that, how long it's been around. And, and you go and you're like, wow, I know many, no idea there's this many women in Eagle County, but uh, it's, it's a great group. And it's going to be at the Grand Hyatt Vale, formerly the Hotel Talisa. And uh, so it'll start at 5.30. Go till about 8, because I think the silent auction ends at around 7.15. Awesome. Okay, that's really cool. So if I, let's say I'm not a member, I can still, I can still go and just sign up at the door? Yeah, you know what? And this is open to non-members. It's even open to the guys. They're like, anyone can come to this one. Usually it's a, a women's group, so they usually just have women going. But um, for their annual holiday soiree, it's open to everyone. And, and then they do suggest the $15 donation just because they are trying to raise the money to give as many scholarships as they can in May when the high schoolers are graduating. And they work with Youth Power 365 to vet the candidates and to just figure out who's going to be getting what funds so we really want to help them raise some funds tonight oh, amazing you're always such a wealth of information okay i'm gonna let you warm up for just a minute and i'm gonna tell everybody about our weather and what's happening in the next little bit here so exciting okay so trisha you go warm up and i have to say a big thank you to the atlas at sowerthorn for providing our first look at our local weather and mountain report so of course starting off with a very very chilly morning we're gonna be seeing mostly dry conditions out there for today and then those highs really kind of topping out in the maybe the upper 30s down in town a little bit cooler up on the mountain really nice visibility but then then tonight through Friday evening, we have a chance to see six to 12 inches of snow, according to Joel Gratz from opensnow.com. So basically this storm that's coming in has a lot of energy, a lot of moisture, and it looks like the most intense snow will most likely be Thursday night into Friday morning. So plan that commute accordingly and get ready for hopefully some good maybe even like a like a powder day some freshies on the mountain so you can see right here you know traffic moving along smoothly right now but we know how this changes as soon as that snow starts to move in and as soon as it gets intense so just be aware we you know we're getting those alerts those eagle county alerts i was getting a winter storm watch warning that came through on my phone yesterday so things are going to change pretty quickly as we get into tonight. And then once we get into the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we start to clear up. We have more sunshine back in the forecast. So really, really excited to see the snow coming in. And right now, if you're going to be going over to Vail Mountain, they currently have still 7% of their terrain open. So 25 of their 317 lifts. They also have six of... Um, 25 of their 317 trails, six of their 33 lifts are operating. And if you're going over to Beaver Creek, they're also still holding steady with their opening day terrain around 70 acres and two trails are currently open at Beaver Creek. So big thank you to the Alice at Silverthorne for this first look at our weather. Also, again, if you're watching this morning, do we have any chat, Mary? Do we have anybody talking to us first thing besides me and Trisha just yammering? We, we can do that all day. No chat? Come on. Anyway, if you're watching Facebook or YouTube, say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. We'd love to hear from you. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have a look at your headlines. We'll also be talking about what's going on with those roads and so much more. Stay with us.
even more now than maybe before. The fresh air, good for your head, it's good for your heart, uh, it's good for you physically, and it'll make you smile. And go rip some pow. Let's go. I'll lead you follow this. Okay, welcome back to your Wednesday edition of Vail Daily Live. First, a big thank you to Vail Mountain Coffee and Tea. You know, they have some really cool gifts, especially for that person that has everything. Maybe you want to get a new little mug from them. They also, of course, have some delicious coffee and tea products. And I was just looking. So they do free shipping on all of their orders, no minimum. So no matter where you're watching from, they, um, they've they built some relationships with suppliers worldwide. And so basically they're like, you know, if, if you order something from us, we're shipping it to you for free. But that's a, that's a big deal because shipping costs have really skyrocketed here locally um, in the past, like, month or two. I can tell you firsthand from handling the shipping for my other job. Now, uh, some of the blends that they have available right now, their Holiday Blend is $12.95. Their Bridge Street Blend is $10.95. They also have their Meadow Mountain Blend. So if you want to have a, a taste of Vail in your home, this is a great way to do it. They also have their Patriotic Blend. It's a three-pack, and it supports the Vail Veterans Program. So that might be a good option for a holiday gift for somebody in your life. So big thanks to them. Now, pick up your Vail Daily today for free and every day. It's always free in those blue bins from Dotsero all the way to Vail Village. And, of course, you can check it out at VailDaily.com. So on the front page this morning, such a sweet photo of Officer Josh, Josh Sanders of the Eagle Police Department. And they did their annual shop with a cop um, on well yesterday over at the Walmart in Avon. So kids were paired up with officers and first responders from agencies across Eagle County, which is really really sweet. And then um, the big story today, really in depth story, is talking about uh, reforms and issues with what's going on with the mental health network that is potentially failing Colorado. So as you open up on page A2, this, this continues, and uh, Suzanne Green really dives in pretty heavily into mental health and to um, our current mental health network here in Colorado. Now, big news in the land of Vail. Kim Langmaid has been named Vail's new mayor. So you may recognize her name. She's one of the founders of Walking Mountain Science Center. And so it was a, a unanimous vote. So she is the brand new Vail mayor. And you can see the whole Vail Town Council there on page A5. Also, uh, a, a win for workforce housing. So there is uh, a sale of the Lake Creek Village Apartments. They were built in 1993, and they uh, the county commissioners okayed the sale to a Denver-based firm, and so it's going to bring in about $50 million to help finance construction of additional workforce housing units. So you can learn more about that on page A4. And then moving on through, also another sale. A lot of things have been sold around here lately, but the Vail Valley Jet Center is sold to an international firm. And so from what I understand from reading this article, um, <clears throat> the Signature Aviation has grown to the world's largest network of fixed base operators and so they are the brand new owners so you can learn more about that on page a13 and then our high school sports are crushing it right now so the huskies you might remember they were our state hockey champions for last year we had a big old parade that came through eagle ranch i went out there with my husky to celebrate them it was so cool and so they are starting off their season one and one from this last weekend so they kind of talk about things that they can they can work out and um, work on and some of the things that they're looking forward to for that upcoming season. And then also for our high school basketball teams, they're off to a really hot start. So the Battle Mountain girls are 3-0 and right now, and the Eagle Valley boys basketball squad has started off their season 1-0. and So if you want to learn a little bit more about what's going on in high school sports, that's all on page A37. So looking good out there, but definitely a good, good read to pick up while you're in town today. So let's talk about what's going on with those roads. So right now, you know, things are smooth sailing. Uh, very, very minimal traffic out there, just a little bit of snow on the sides of the roads, really not a whole lot that you're combating with, 
But as we see that snow move in overnight tonight, things will definitely change, especially on the mountain passes. And of course, um, you want to give yourself a little bit of extra time as you plan your commute between tonight and Friday night because we are expecting that big old storm to move on through. So just uh, a, another great resource If you, besides these are these are cameras coming from the Colorado Department of Transportation, but you can log on to ecalert.org and get yourself signed up for any of the alerts about what's going on with the weather and the roads. And you can see right now just that morning commute going through Dow Junction. That's the busiest part of those cameras right there. Well, let's check in with Trisha Swenson, see where else she is in Vail Village this morning. You can see those lights behind her. Oh, I love I love all the decorations, right? Like even by the bus stop, oh, it no. looks like a little snow globe. Yes, it just, it's so, it's such a little winter wonderland out here right now. And the reason I thought I'd stop by the bus stop is to just let people know, since we don't have skiing really um, from Vail or Lionshead Village down to um, uh, Vail Village, if you're over there, you can always hop on the bus and then come on over to the, the Vail Village area. So you could easily do that. We have a free in-town bus shuttle and uh, it's it's so cool. And the reason that was designed is the, the founding fathers and mothers of Vail knew that in order to make this um, a really awesome ski village, they needed to have the bus stops and the free transportation. And this goes from East Vail all the way through West Vail. And then we have really affordable buses. You just go to the top of the Vail Village parking structure or the Lion's Head parking structure, and you can hop on and go all the way down Valley, go to Avon, go to Beaver Creek. So it's a pretty elaborate bus system. And what I love, Ashley, is they have kind of the, the little thing up top that tells you how many more minutes you have to wait. Is it five minutes? Is it two minutes? And then they let you know when the next bus after that is coming. So maybe it's coming in two minutes, and your whole party isn't here yet, but the next one is in eight minutes. So you kind of know how long you need to wait. And um, so our buses are just a great way to get around. I like to hop on there. Even if the parking is full in one of the structures, you just park in the other structure and then take the bus to where you want to go. Uh, at night, it's fun because you can kind of go from a restaurant in Lion's Head back to Ville Village if you're listening to some music. And then also just during the day, we've got the, uh, the library on this bus route. We also have the uh, Dobson Ice Arena on this uh, bus route as well so a lot of things and you know what my nephew like when he was little he actually liked riding the bus more than anything else so i don't know what it is with kids but they love riding the bus um do you remember you need a mask to wear the bus for public transportation you know, I have to agree with you as far as, you know, being able to have the, the timing there. And I can hear those buses going past you on the other side of the road. But you know what? They're, they're freakishly accurate, the, the timing yeah. estimates. Like, they're, I've, never, I've never been standing for longer than the estimated time any time I've no. been getting on the bus. No. Like, they do a really good job with it. Yeah, you, you're, it's pretty certain. I think they got bigger um, displays too. And this will take you all the way up to Golden Peak once we open that. Sometimes I'll park in the village. Maybe I know the line is going to be long at one. I just go over to Reefabon and take it up to the midway point, go down to chair 10, chair 14, and then you're in the back bowl. So it's good to kind of navigate the lines by knowing how to utilize the bus system. Oh, that very true. A little good, good insider tip, Trisha. I like it. Okay. Well, listen, we are going to take another quick break. And then when we come back, we'll have another look at that weather and mountain report. We'll also have a look at your lens of the day. We'll have more from Trisha live in Vail Village. So hang out, maybe grab another little cup of coffee and we'll be right back. <music> effect. This is how it feels to know you have a wealth plan that covers everything that's important to you. 
This is what it's like to have a dedicated Fidelity advisor looking at your full financial picture, making sure you have the right balance of risk and reward, and helping you plan for future generations. This is the planning effect from Fidelity. This weather and mountain report is brought to you by Live Sotheby's International Realty, Colorado's leading real estate firm. Contact their Vale Valley broker professionals today to help you live the life you love. Thank you so much to Live Sotheby's. So today, really nice and just kind of clear, easy conditions, some nice temperatures in the 20s up on Vale Mountain, maybe a little bit warmer down in town perfect visibility until we get into this afternoon and evening. So I did get a winter storm watch warning uh, from the National Weather Service yesterday. So what they're saying is that the winter storm watch is in effect from this afternoon through Friday afternoon. And so this this affects everything from Steamboat Springs, Aspen, Vail, Snowmass, Crested Butte, goes all over the place. And so what they're saying is that portions of the northwest, the southwest, and west central Colorado will be affected by the this with heavy snow, total accumulations of one to two feet possible. Winds could gust as high as 40 miles an hour. And again, this is coming from the National Weather Service. And uh, they're saying that impacts could be that travel is very difficult to impossible. Patching blowing snow could significantly reduce visibility, especially on ridge tops and mountain passes. Cold wind chills as low as 20 below zero could cause frostbite on exposed skin in as little as 30 minutes. And uh, a detailed map can be found at weather.gov. So just want to be prepared. Again, we have that winter storm watch in effect from this afternoon through Friday afternoon. And you can see here as we're pulling up those graphics that it's just going to get a little crazy between now and Friday night, which of course I think we're all very excited about. And then things clear up through the weekend for Saturday and Sunday. So thank you so much to Liv Sotheby's for that weather. And then for the mountain today, if you're getting out on Vail Mountain or Beaver Creek Mountain, they haven't opened any new terrain really in the last week or so. Again, we had that little storm to kind of refresh things, which was great, help out with the snow making. But if you are going to be going over to Vail, they have 25 trails open right now six lifts are operating and beaver creek currently has their two trails open so that's look what's going on with that let's send things back out to trisha swenson see what's going on in vale village looking like a snow globe first thing this morning and oh man trisha just beautiful out there well you know what ashley i thought i'd come over here and talk a little bit about reveille and holidays vale because we've got some things going on this weekend so um the tree lighting. So we've had the lion's set tree lighting. Of course, we had the Beaver Creek tree lighting. But right here at the, the plaza was where we'll see the veil tree lighting on uh, Saturday. And, um, or is it Friday? Uh, no, no, let me look. Let me look. <laughs> um, so, um, <laughs> and we're going to have the tree lighting. And then we're going to have, um, oh shoot. How come I can't Hold on. Uh, I'll tell you it. about the Kris Kringle Market. The Kris Kringle Market yes. is happening on um, Friday. Saturday and Sunday, the 11th and 12th. And that'll be from 11 to 4 each day. And that'll be over on the International Bridge. And they bring in all sorts of different local and regional vendors. So talk about unique gifts that you're not going to find anywhere else. You know, you won't have to worry about somebody else also giving this gift at, at the holidays. So that'll be a really fun thing going on with the Kris Kringle Market, Saturday and Sunday. Then on Saturday morning, we are bringing back the ugly holiday sweater 5K run. I don't know if you've ever seen any of the photos for this, but people get totally decked out. Even even their tights are like looking like little elves pants and everything. So this is going to be registration at 8.30, and then they'll be doing the 5K or a one mile. You can do either. It's going to start and end at Barton Yetis over in Lion's Head. And then they're gonna have an after party. They're even gonna have prizes for like best costume and everything. So it might be worth your time to really get decked out for this awesome fun run. But these is these are all part of Reveille Vale. So Reveille Vale is kind of the celebrating the brilliance of winter, early winter season. And, and we've done a lot of things in the past with this. We've done the tree lighting over at Lion's Head, and we've had different arts and crafts. So, and of course, Magic of Lights Veil is a part of this. This is the uh, 500,000 light display that's over 
just east of Golden Peak over the Ford Park area near the Ford Amphitheater. So it's going to be, uh, that's going to last all the way till January 2nd. Which, you know, I had a chance to do that with my family uh, right before Thanksgiving. And it was it was so worth it. I would highly recommend it. And I was just looking. So, Trisha, to, if people want more information, discoverveil.com. So it looks like we have Chris Kringle um, on the 11th and 12th. And then we have the holiday sweater run on the 11th. And then the tree lighting in Vail Village is on the 12th. So they have a okay. whole list. I know there's okay. so much. It's really hard to keep track of all of it. And the, I mean, the, yeah. the calendar for December for events is like this long. It's, it's huge. So discoverveil.com. Yeah. Well, and then don't forget later on, we have Vail holidays and that'll include uh, the fireworks for uh, the New Year's Eve. And that'll be a, just a great display. And, and what's nice is you can see it from so many different locations in Vail, even across the way. You can park your car over on some of the side streets and, and see great display. But that'll be kind of the, the wrapping up of Vail holidays uh, with the big, huge fireworks display on New Year's. Awesome. Well, I'm excited to learn more about things happening around Vail Village and just see more of those beautiful shots. Right now, though, speaking of seeing things, Eyepieces of Vail is where you need to go if you want to be seeing things on the mountain, if you want to be seeing all those lightings of all the trees and the really cool events that are taking place, because from prescription eyewear all the way to uh, goggles, sunglasses, and helmets, Eyepieces of Vail has it all. And I, speaking of that... So I, I pulled out my helmet here. So this is a brand new, this is one from Anon. It's called the Wave Cell. And so they have some new technology that they are using for helping to mitigate impacts on the helmet. And they also have 19 vents on this one. So if you are somebody that happens to get really warm really quickly or you're out on the mountain, this is a really great option. They also have the BOA system back here so you can just adjust easily to see you know, if you can get that perfect fit on your head. And then they also use some magnets on the chin strap here. So really easy to just you know do this with one hand or gloved hands while you're out on the mountain and make sure that it's nice and secure and it fits perfectly so if from you know for all of your mountain needs and to make sure that you are you know seeing the best that you possibly can they even do you know um prescription adjustments potentially while you're here in town so you can actually you know i think a lot of people they wait or not they wait but they're on vacation that's when they actually have time to take care of some of these appointments so eyepieces of Vail, they have seven locations they have locations in Vail, and they also have them in beaver creek and edwards over in snowmass and they have 30 years of experience to back them up. So stop on in, or you can log on to eyepiecesofveil.com to learn more about them. Okay, we're going to take another break. When we come back, we'll have more of what's going on with Beaver Creek. We'll also have more with Trisha over in Vail Village, and we're going to make a healthy cauliflower toast. Bright Future Foundation empowers families and individuals affected by domestic violence and sexual assault through prevention, crisis intervention, advocacy, and long-term healing services. Join us in making futures bright for survivors in our community. Club One is a pivotal part of the Vail lifestyle, with spacious lockers to store all your gear in a ski-in, ski-out location. Club One is your mountain headquarters, stacked with club amenities and members-only perks. Club One, where the locals locker. Okay, so I was just talking to Mayor about... There's, there's so many events going on constantly, right? We just finished Vail Snow Days, just finished the Birds of Prey. Now we are moving into Powabunga, which officially the, the show has sold out, but you can still get tickets on their like local ticket exchange at powabungafestival.com. And I want to bring in Trisha to talk about this because this is something that's relatively new to me, but I know that we have a lot of people that are very excited about this, uh, including our own producers and also... Um, one of our own show creators, <clears throat> Scott. So this is really cool. This is going to be taking place starting, it kind of kicks off tomorrow and then goes all the way through Sunday. And again, those tickets are sold out, but you go to powerbungafestival.com, you can get on that exchange. And so we have the welcome party, and that's going on tomorrow from 9 to 1 a.m. Hello. Really kind of kicking things off. And then they also, of course, have um, the shows going on Friday and Saturday, and then Bottomless Bunga Brunch. Details are on the way for Sunday. So I want to say, let's bring... They just posted it. Oh, 
oh, they just posted an Instagram, but thank you, Meredith. Let's look at their Instagram and see what's going on with that brunch. So, oh, okay. Bottomless bingo brunch. Bingo brunch. Trisha, are you aware of this Powabunga? Uh, yes. You know what? Um, I, I'm not going, but uh, I heard it was sold out. But I've heard that some of the after parties and some of the ancillary events, the, the art displays, that could still be available for people to enjoy. So, um, you know, this event was here two years ago. Then, of course, during COVID, they weren't able to host it. So a lot of people are excited for this. A lot of people to get ready to get back outside. Now, I will tell you, I don't think it's going to be nearly as warm as what we had for Nathaniel Rateliff or... Uh, Dirk Bentley on Saturday. Last weekend was still in that very warm pattern. So I think this weekend people will definitely have to dress differently and uh, pay attention to those overnight lows if they're going to stay up there. But I think, you know, dancing, moving around, being with people, the body heat will, will help. But uh, you do want to make sure you're you're ready for the elements. Oh, definitely. Now I'm learning a little bit more about this bottomless bingo brunch on Sunday. Trisha, listen to this. So not your grandma's bingo, bottomless mimosas, Bloody Mary bar, no pants allowed. So you better, and it says no pants allowed. So you better, better, (laughs) it's a bottomless bingo brunch. You better plan your outfit accordingly. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Plan your outfit accordingly. And, yes. uh, you know, a little brunch, a little, little mimosa, a little Bloody Mary. Hey, you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. So let's get your Sunday fun day going. Is this over in Lion's Head or are they going to do it over in Bill Village? You know, I, I'm just looking at, um, it says it's at the fall line on Sundays. Limited oh, okay. capacity, so reservations yeah. are required. Yeah, so that's over at, on Bridge Street. That's right across from Peppy's and Peppy's Bar. So it is. It's a smaller, a little, uh, yeah, you better get your reservations, <laughs> dude. Otherwise, you you'll be creating your own pantless uh, <laughs> brunch, mimosas, I mean... bingo, someplace else. <laughs> Maybe you could have like a Jenga or like a yeah. Twister. <laughs> The bingo? Yeah, I yeah, I cannot believe also like how are how are we talking about this and there's no chat of, out there about this, honestly, you guys that are watching right now. So Pal actually Banga, remember it reminds me what? Oh oh we oh we do have one chat. Oh who's is any okay. the, Trisha, I'm very curious. Oh, somebody Madison says, I can't wait for Pal Bungo. Who wants to wear pants for Sunday bloodies anyway? <laughs> <laughs> It's one less outfit you have to figure out. You know Very what? I, actually, this reminds me of college. Um, we had my my friends had a, what's called a pants down party, oh. and I was like, "What's that?" And you basically everyone wears like boxer shorts. So if you have a, like a funny pair of boxer shorts, and this is kind of when you were actually wearing like cool boxer shorts, and you got like on a trip and you'd wear them to the gym and all this. I don't, it was just this weird craze. But so you literally have your ankle, your your pants around your ankles, and you're sitting there with your boxers. And then you have like a regular nice top on. Well, and the cops came because we were all underage. And I mean, what do you think the cops thought when they opened up that door? And there's just like people with their solo cups, pant, jeans around their ankles, boxers, and then regular top. I and mean, what a sight. Like, yeah. So oh pants down God. party. Yep. Well, now so. we're just taking it to Bridge Street. So classing it up <laughs> with Pau Bunga. And, oh, totally. man. Oh, so funny. All right. Well, I, I'm very excited. This is the first time I've ever talked about anything like this on um, on any sort of broadcast. So big news for me here. Yep. Now, let's talk about what's happening at Gondola One. What are you seeing out there? Is it a pretty mellow day there at the base of Vail Mountain? Yeah. You know what? Pretty mellow. Um, we've got just a lot of some of the workers getting ready to go up. Um, ticket scanners. Now, we do have the, the ticket offices open. In fact, I'm going to go over there and make sure that my credit card, you know, you can put your credit card onto your pass. Um, I want to make sure that I, I'm all good to go because, you know, sometimes it's nice to leave the wallet at home. And then if you're buying things at a, a, a Vail Resorts restaurant or Beaver Creek restaurant, you can just use your pass for a resort charge. So it's nice to do that. And then I got to get um, a little hole punch put in mine so I can get it on my lanyard. Otherwise, I'll lose it. So 
I might, yeah. I might pop over there. Okay, well, get, yeah, get some of your to-do to list checked off. I see that blue sky yeah. behind me looking beautiful out there. Um, okay, well, Trisha, I'll let you get some business taken care of. And then um, I want to talk about what's going on at Beaver Creek. So we'll come back to Trisha here in just a minute. But, you know, Beaver Creek, they, of course, just finished the Birds of Prey, but they have some really cool signature events that take place all winter long, including... Uh, their Thursday Night Wonder, that starts on the 16th. Their Fun Fest starts on Saturday, on December 11th. That'll also be happening on the 18th. And these are just really cool experiences that they create for you and your entire family to enjoy. Most of them are completely complimentary. And a lot of them involve you know some live music, some great little food, some activities. And then, of course, they have Beaver Creek Extraordinaire Presents Cheer, where things they just go all out for that week after Christmas before New Year's. And then their New Year's Eve celebration celebration will be happening on December 31st. So that's just a look at what's going on for December. But then they also, one of my favorite things that they do is that snowshoe race series. So that'll kick off on January 16th. They do one um, January, February, and March. But really, really cool if you've never been a part of that. And then they also have things that just happen throughout the week. Like for instance, um, today from three to five in the village, Helmet Fricker will be playing his live music. And then of course, we cannot forget that the Nutcracker Ballet returns turns coming up on Friday. So they have four different live performances at the Villar Performing Arts Center. You can get your tickets at VillarPAC.org. So Vail Friends of Dance presents Vail Youth Ballet Company and Vail Valley Academy of Dance performing the classic Nutcracker Ballet. So Friday at 7.30. Saturday they have a matinee at 2. Also again they have a show at 7.30. And then Sunday there's also a matinee at 2 o'clock. So if you'd like to kick off your holiday season with the Nutcracker cracker with our local dancers. It's a great way to do that at the Villar Performing Arts Center. Okay, so speaking of also, you know, kicking things off, you want to have a great start to your day. Maybe you want to try something a little bit different. And, you know, Trisha, the, the girl, she's, she's a powerhouse, right? Like whether she's, you know, biking in Majorca or in the Dolomites, or maybe she's, you know, skinning and then golfing and then like, you can't, you can't hold this girl down, right? Well, she eats really healthy and she has taken us along for a, a ride to learn about how to make healthy cauliflower toast. Let's take a look. We're gonna cook up some avocado toast today. We have Christine Pierangeli with us. She's a certified master nutrition therapist. And uh, this is pretty easy, only three ingredients, right. but it's whole foods. And that's what's so important in uh, you know a healthy diet these days. That's right, that's right. As a nutrition therapist, I'm always trying to get people to incorporate more whole foods, more complex carbohydrates, less refined carbohydrates, right? Because back to blood sugar balance, the more complex carbohydrates, fiber, healthy fats, and protein that we have in a recipe, the more even and stable our blood yeah. sugar is going to be. And we're going to be happier throughout the day. That's right. Okay. No hangries. So no hangries here. Okay, so we've got some almond flour. Almond flour, great source of all three, fiber, healthy fats, and protein. Mm -hmm. So that's a great flour to use. Um, and then an egg, lots of healthy fats, choline, good yep. for the brain, okay. and protein as well. And what we will add to that is some cauliflower rice that we've sauteed. Okay. And then I sauteed this in some avocado oil, a really great oil with a high smoking point. So take that off, combine it up. And then we had a little bit of garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper. A little there, bit of garlic, right? little salt and pepper, get a little bit of flavor and, and you know, use the amount that makes sense to you. You're the one spicing yeah. your food up and use what you like. So really simple, just have to combine these ingredients well. Gets a little pasty, that's completely fine. Yeah, because you want it to bind together. It's so it. it can egg is your binder. So it can so. support the avocado and the that's toppings right. we'll be putting on after that. That's right. Okay. So you get to decide how you want them to look. If aesthetics are important to you, all right, so we had the oven at 350. We had these in there for 10 to 12 minutes. We flipped them over. For another 10 to 12, we're ready to go with the avocado topping. That's right. So to add more healthy fats and some more veggies, you can top these with a little bit of avocado. Mm -hmm. 
And then we've got some fun veggies here, whether you want to do a little cucumber action. You could even do hard boiled eggs. Oh yeah, great idea. Some colorful tomatoes um, to make a great appetizer or dinner, or snack. Okay. Anything in between. All right. Well, if you want to find out more about healthy eating, profoundwellness.fit, right. or check out the recipe in the Veil Daily. Oh, Roku, you want to stream? They stream big. Mmm. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Yeah! Did you catch the game last night? Yeah. <laughs> yeah! chestnuts roasting that bring the family together it's you and even though you can't make them exactly like grandma's you can still make it a night to remember save on a samsung laundry pair from the home depot Welcome back to your Wednesday edition of Vale Daily Live. It's December 8th, and we have snow in the forecast. So incredibly excited about this. You know, we had a little bit of a refresher on Tuesday, which is great to see. We got a little bit more than anticipated. You know, Joel Gratz from OpenSnow.com was saying like 2 to 6. We actually got like 3 to 4. So, you know, kind of like a little bit more than we were, we were initially thinking. And it's all brought to you by Carrots, who's been creating heirlooms for more than 50 years now. And if you haven't been in there before if you're looking for some really unique holiday gifts they have some incredible incredible options and the things that they they create in that studio is they're they're just they're amazing i love them go and say hi to dan to and his crew so you can see here right now it's about 18 degrees in Vail, and we are expecting to see a high maybe around the upper 30s in town, but up on the mountain, probably a high around 20 or so. Now, according to Joel Gratz and his team at opensnow.com, so we, we have this system that's moving in this afternoon and this evening, and it'll stay with us until Friday evening. So these nice, clear road conditions, they're going to start to deteriorate as the afternoon and evening goes on. And this storm system has a lot of energy, a lot of moisture associated with it. So for Vail Mountain, he's predicting 6 to 12 inches of snow. And the most intense part of this will be Thursday night into Friday morning. So be prepared for that Friday morning commute and give yourself plenty of extra time. And then we'll start to dry out as we get into Saturday and Sunday. And currently on Vail Mountain, they have 25 trails open. They have six lifts operating. If you're going over to Beaver Creek, they have two trails that are currently open right now. So hopefully... With this storm system, we'll start to see some new terrain opening up and, of course, assisting Mother Nature. You can see that snow being blown right there in Lion's Head. And, you know, speaking of somebody who's over in Vail, this is my girl, Trisha. Oh, but she's not ready right now. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We should talk about um, – nap harvest. So for a lot of you, maybe you're you're getting into into more of the um, you know farm to table ideas. Maybe you'd like to get your produce locally and know that that's that's the case. Nap harvest is located in Eagle Ranch, and a lot of what they have comes from the um, you know the nap farm, the Nap Ranch that's up in Edwards. And really cool story behind this ranch. And there's actually a beautiful picture book that you could get, you know, to have on your table that goes into all of the details. But um, essentially, it was a dream uh, that was created by the owners of Condé Nast. They ended up selling Condé Nast publications, and then they ended up creating this ranch. And so some of the um, benefits of this is that we get some fresh organic produce and I was looking online so they're open from 10 to 6 Monday through Friday and right now some of the things they have that are prepared because you know Trisha and I don't really like to cook ourselves we just like to <laughs> benefit from people that know how to cook uh, they have arugula pistachio pesto mm. they also have an, an organic chicken salad but I'm going to let them do some of the talking here as we head down to nap harvest to take a look at what you can find in Eagle Ranch The holidays are here and Nap Harvest is your headquarters for organically grown produce, meats, cheeses, 
anything you're going to want for your meals and ready to go meals. We have Carrie Hogan here to tell us more. And I love this time of year, but it could be stressful. It and you're here to help us out. We are here to help you out. So talk about one-stop shopping right here at Nap Harvest. So not only can you get your uh, ingredients for your recipes for your holiday meals, you can also shop for your holiday gifts. We have lots and lots of gift ideas wonderful stocking stuffers. Then you can also get meals to go organic and good for you. So when it's hectic this time of year, you're not compromising your health. Yeah, and you know what, price-wise, when you think about getting a healthier, mm -hmm. organic meal all ready to go, it's about the same size as that takeout pizza it, anyway. It is, <laughs> and if you consider your time, and then you're also providing your family with very healthy ingredients to keep them healthy. We all need to keep away from being sick and all yes. that, and the way you do it is start from inside with great food. Okay, well you got to check out some of these vegetables because oh we've got gosh. all of the uh, the onions oh, and the, the fingerlings. lovely local and organic fingerlings. The onions right now, there's a recall in from Mexico, so you got to know these things. These are from western Colorado. You come here, you can trust what you're sourced. Okay. We want to also celebrate these farmers that have worked all year round. We're supporting their families. We know these people. We know their faces. We know their families. It's a lot different than shopping at a big grocery store. Help support your local. Shop local. And this is amazing. Look oh, at these. do you not love these? So the Knapp Ranch is also growing mushrooms up at the ranch. So you've got lion's mane, shiitake, and we've got the trumpets, uh, trumpets and blue oysters. Yeah, blue oysters. So lots and lots. We'll have recipes as well to help you with how to cook all of these. Wonderful addition to your stuffing. Yeah. We've got your gorgeous sweet potatoes. sweet potatoes. Again, local and organic. And just waiting for you to pick it up and add your special touch. Add your special touch so, to some uh, mm, ciders, yes. some spice ciders as well. And then the gifts. I mean, I love yeah. going shopping here for gifts. Everything from like the, the great dish towels, the pillows, and all of the bees and the honey products. Let's talk about the honey. I mean, we have honey from all over the world. We have the 10 there's a list called the 10 best honeys before you die and we've got three of them one of them being trappers fireweed from right here so it's wonderful to taste the difference in honeys you can be a honey sommelier <laughs> amazing the difference is like we were talking about apples before there's a real difference when you taste real food that yeah. has been brought to you by your hard working farmers all right and well bees <laughs> All right, and open seven days a week. So it's kind of like your farmer's market that's open uh, daily down Absolutely. here in Eagle Ranch. We love our new home. Lots of windows, great light. But the birds, <laughs> they're back. Yes, I hear them. Uh-oh. Why are these birds so angry? At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. We save a lot. I'm going. I'm going. Ah! Hurry, hurry. I know, I know, For I know. bundling made easy, go to geico.com. See and be seen. With the eyepieces of Bale, view our curated collection of the best eyewear from around the world. Find your favorite brands and be introduced to new lines of eyeglasses, sunglasses, and goggles. See in style with prescription services done in-house at Eyepieces of Veil. Vale. Schedule time with one of our optometrists or get a comprehensive digital eye exam. Our on-site laboratory allows you to get your prescription done quickly so you can get back out there. Eyepieces of Veil, vale, the art of vision. This weather and mountain report is brought to you by Betteridge. Find jewelry and watches with exceptional service since 1897, located in Solaris. Thank you so much to Betteridge for a look at our weather and mountain report. And I wanted to bring in our chat first before we get into our weather. And Dan's watching from Florida this morning. And what was he saying? It was 80, 68 here with a high of 82. Oh, Dan. Oh, man. That is warm. I tell you what, although 68 is probably like really mild for you, actually. But also, Dan, I think this is the first time I really noticed that you have Miami Hurricanes icon in there. <laughs> I still like you anyway, even being a gator. Um, but it's not going to be in the 80s here today. It's going to be in the 20s. It was pretty chilly leaving my house around 18 degrees in Eagle. That's pretty cool. That's one of the coolest mornings I've seen down there. And then we're, we'll be seeing those highs and maybe in the upper 30s down in the valley floor, but things are going to change pretty quickly. So 
We are currently expecting a winter storm watch to go into effect Wednesday afternoon. That is this afternoon through Friday afternoon. This was just issued by the National Weather Service yesterday. And so it's going to bring us potentially accumulations of one to two feet possible. Wind gusts as high as 40 miles an hour. This is affecting portions of the northwest, southwest, and western, west central Colorado. And so this is something where they're saying that the travel travel could be difficult to impossible. Patchy blowing snow could significantly reduce visibility, especially on ridge, top, ridge tops and mountain passes. The cold wind chills as low as 28 below or 20 below zero could cause frostbite on exposed skin as in as little as 30 minutes and you can find a detailed map at weather.gov so whoo that's pretty intense winter storm watch so of course right now it doesn't look like any of that's gonna be taking place right like smooth sailing through Bell village looks really nice and beautiful out there but just know it is coming so thank you so much to better edge for our weather and mountain report and for Vail mountain today they still hold steady with their six lifts operating 25 trails i believe are open right now um they also have two of their trails open at beaver creek and again hopefully once we get through this storm we'll have more of that terrain opening and uh, you know according to to joel gratz he's saying that he's expecting about six to twelve inches for Vail mountain out of this storm so good news there let's send things back out to trisha this morning and trisha you know we were just talking about powabunga and how they're having their pantsless mimosas and Bloody Mary's party on Sunday. But also, I did want to mention, like, they're really serious about their safety here. So they do have some important info on their on their website that you have to have, like, their COVID policy is very intense. So make sure to check that out. Oh, sorry, Trish, I'm just yammering. But I see you at the Gorsuch yeah. Ski Cafe. Oh, it looks so cozy. What are you drinking? Oh, I have a chai tea latte. Isn't it so cute? Look at this. I love their dish. There's little skiers on them, and they do sell babies. In case you're looking for a fun little gift for somebody, they got great gift ideas in here as well. So while you're getting your coffee, getting your pastries, um, they they serve all day. So not just in the morning, you can get lunch. You can also get some um maybe upper ski drinks. They have some fun little hot drinks that have um, <laughs> alcohol in them. But uh, oh, I just, we 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 went right to this lively bunch here, and we're gonna find out where you guys are from. So where are you from? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yes. Okay. How about you? Uh, Castle Pines, Colorado. Okay. And you? Los Angeles. All right. LA. In the house. Okay. Perfect. Now, um, what are your names? Sonia. Sonia. Blake. Melissa. Okay. And um, what you ordered today? Look at these cinnamon oh, these rolls. These fabulous homemade cinnamon rolls. They look amazing. And you went one step further. Right. What'd you get that? We have an eight croissant. Well, you know what? You got a fuel for the day. Right. And it's true. So how long have you guys been in town? Well, she's been here a week and a half. Yeah. Okay. And I flew in last minute because she said there was going to be snow. <laughs> So we got snow, yay! Okay, yeah, well, we did. We got a little bit of snow and more on the way yeah. this weekend. When are you supposed to fly up? Unfortunately, this afternoon at noon. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Yeah. This okay. is our last run this morning. Okay. Is, we're going to make it count. All right. And what are you, else have you been doing while you've been here? Eating. Eating. Eat, drink, eat, ski. Eat, drink, sleep, ski. Yeah. Repeat. Exactly. All right. What well, we do? From restaurants. <laughs> have you been taking them out to different restaurants? We've gone to two restaurants. I don't, I'm not good with names. I have no clue about restaurants. <laughs> Do you? She's You're good with names. names. She does the reservation names. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, that is a good one. We had the teriyaki good. steak that was awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was awesome. That was yes. the best. Is that sushi? You can we did sushi teriyaki. as well, but we did some teriyaki steak. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. That was so good. good. Oh, awesome. All right. Well, enjoy the last few runs of the yeah. of this trip, yeah. and then we'll see you later on the season. Right, yes. Cheers. We will be back. Right. Cheers. 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 Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Okay. Yeah. Have a fun down here at the Gorsuch Ski Cafe, located right near Lift One, kind of the one. And uh, actually, they've got the Ferrari of coffee making machines. I'm not sure if you've been behind the scenes here, but um, these are pretty cool. I don't know much about coffee, but this looks like the top of the line. Oh, yeah. Well, it looks gorgeous in there. You're making me super jealous. And cheers to you and our crew from California, Sonia Blake and Alyssa. That looks super fun. Also, those, I mean, the cinnamon buns, my goodness. Yes, please. If one of those happened to appear in the studio when you got back, that'd be okay. 
and be totally fine. Well, what? As if, if one of those cinnamon buns happened to make its way back to the studio, that's cool. Oh. Just saying. That's allowed. Yes, yes. <laughs> Look at the display case here. This, oh, oh yeah. man. If, if there was no tomorrow, I would just like live on cinnamon rolls and not <laughs> deal with the consequences. No, no. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and actually back here, they've got everything going on with the, the ski shop and stuff. So it's kind of like a mini Gorsuch over here and a lot of cool clothes as well. But hey, but I was mentioning you could buy the, um, could buy yeah. the little cups. Oh, yes. So they've got yeah. these cups that you can buy or even just some fun little uh, napkins. <laughs> You know, just it. some good little gift ideas. Oh, and the other week we yeah, talked about the, the Bale Monopoly game. Oh, yeah. They do cool. have this. That's, That's a oh. fun little gift idea. Yeah, okay. awesome. So, lots of little gift ideas for you. But, um, yeah, so we're, we're going to head back out. I can see people making their way over to lift number one and gandhi one is open as well as uh chair number four the mountaintop express and then uh, the good thing is is they did open up to two probably about two weekends ago now and that's a good way to get from lion's head over to midvale but the only way to ski down all the way is from midvale down to Vale village not over to lion's head kind of like when i was mentioning the buses and how that can help you get to and fro that's how you can do it if you started in one village and another. Gotcha. All right. Well, we'll catch up with you back outside real fast to close out the show. But cheers to your chai. That looked amazing. Okay. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll be closing things out and sending you on your way for this beautiful Wednesday here in the Rockies. Treat your dog to delicious, nutritious dog food specialty items and high quality gear for dogs who love to get outside and play do-it-yourself dog washing and grooming services now available mountain canine the dog friendliest shop in the Vale valley a good night's sleep can be harder to achieve at altitude altitude control technologies whole room oxygenation system scientifically simulates a lower altitude no matter how high your mountain home may be. Increased oxygen levels facilitate better sleep and help to alleviate fatigue. Result is more energy, better mood, clarity of mind, and recovery from exercise. Contact Altitude Control Technology for a free consultation and start sleeping better after one night in your oxygenated room. Okay, before we send things off into the rest of our Wednesday, I want to check in with our chat one last time. Thanks so much for waking up and, and chatting with us. Also, um, let's do this six to 12 inches. Todd saying, right? Honestly, like I'm, I'm so excited about the fact that we can potentially see a powder day on Vale and Beaver Creek. And, you know, like forget the fact that we have the winter storm watch and the roads might be a total mess between <laughs> Thursday night and Friday morning don't care so excited to finally see a big big snowfall here in the valley so really really pumped to see what happens on friday morning and what we'll be waking up to also <laughs> if there was no tomorrow i would live on cinnamon rolls i love you trisha right honestly like hysterical i <laughs> I can't get enough of her. Also, I love the fact that she's, you know, cheers and people from L.A. and just getting that chai. Oh, good morning, Rach. Rach is coming in. Got Mare behind the screen. And, again, we have that 6 to 12 inches, hopefully, by the time we get into Friday morning. So just beware tonight into Friday morning. Going to get a little tricky out there. Let's send things back out to my girl, Trisha Swenson, and see what last shot she has in store for us. Oh, man, Trisha, looking good. Is that Ski Patrol behind you? Yeah, we've got Ski Patrol getting ready to load, and um, there's quite a bit of activity just right here at the base, whether they're going over to get their um, express lift coffee or a lot of the employees getting a, I like the Santa hat. Oh, yeah, I love the Santa hat. Oh, go, go Bronco. He's got yeah. the Bronco scarf on, too. Okay, so we have a lot of employees getting ready, but um, a lot of um, people that are ready to ski and ride today as uh, we go up, and we'll be starting this at 9 a.m. And then a little closer to the holidays is when they usually drop uh, the opening to 8.30. But for now, it still is uh, 9 o'clock to 3.30. Beaver Creek is 9 to 4. Okay, got it. Yeah, I was looking on the website. So apparently December 18th 
is that day that they drop it to 8.30 that, that veils in the opening at that point. So, Trisha, I can't wait to see what happens in the next 48 hours with this snow. Like, I cannot wait. Are you going to be, like, up there like, getting first tracks on Friday? No, I'll be working. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's how no, that works. You know what? Yeah. Uh, I, I can wait. I, I got some patience. I can wait. But um, actually, real quick, um, if you're looking for, wow, that's a loud walkie-talkie. <laughs> I can hear it all the way over here. If you're looking for some live music this afternoon, Kachina Rustica, which is in Lodge at Vale, one of the oldest hotels around, they are having live music from 3 to 6 tonight. They have a real cool lounge atmosphere and then also tables if you want to order food and that kind of thing. So, um, but it, it's kind of a new concept for them this year. So if you're like, where's Kachina? Just go back kind of behind uh, Christie Sports and the Gorsuch Ski Cafe behind Mendetta's and, and you'll find it right there across from Elways. And then more live music at the West End. So seven to nine, they're having music or six to nine. And then uh, way down in the Florida Ranch, Roy Bloomfield is gonna be playing music out there. So a couple different options if you're looking for live music, which is one of my favorite things to do in the Vale Valley. Just sit down and, and listen to some tunes. Oh, I love it. Thank you for that great advice. What, three totally different environments, so that's really cool. Well, soak up all of that excitement there at the base. Go back and finish your chai. And I'm excited to see you on Friday morning. And hopefully we'll be like dancing around in some powder out there. So. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much to Trisha and to Barry this morning. And I will see you on Friday. I'll see the rest of you. We'll see the rest of you at 7.30 a.m. tomorrow morning as we kick off another fresh edition of Vail Daily Live.